welcome to your reading. I hope that you're doing well today. Sorry, my cat's like right here. Um, yeah, <laughs> hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're doing something that you love. Um, let's see what Spirit has for you. We are gonna be taking a look at your recent past, the current energies that surround you and your immediate future or the near future. We're gonna start by getting you an overall energy for Gemini. Got two. Two of Cups and the Page of Wands. You're showing me a lot of interest, Gemini. You're showing me that you're interested in this person, this connection. Really excited about this adventure. This could be a new relationship. Something that, I don't know, you don't feel like you have to have your guard up. You don't feel like you need to have control with it or them, I'll say. This is a mutual thing too. It's not just a one-sided, like you're, <laughs> you're just interested in them. This is, it's showing up as um, both of you being on the same page, feeling excited about what's to come. There's a lot of love here. And there's also a lot of opening up or vulnerability. Ace of Wands on the split, which can just resemble a new, a new beginning, you know? Something that the universe is trying to put you in alignment with. Can you show me the recent past for Gemini? We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. The Queen of Wands. And the Death card. So in the recent past, there was, I feel like this was like, yeah, Whatever changes you made, it really, really boosted your confidence or your self-esteem, your sense of self, your, I don't know. It's like you see yourself clearly now, not whatever any, uh, you don't see yourself through the eyes of what other people say you are or who they think you are. You, whatever changes you made, it really brought you back back home to yourself, I want to say. This feels good. This feels very transformative. It feels abundant, right? There could have been some, there could have been a lack of forward movement in your past due to you kind of having this blindfold on, right? This eight of wands reverse and the eight of swords upright. There could have been this sense of feeling stuck or maybe not seeing yourself, not feeling like you see yourself from your perspective. You could have been like internalizing other people's opinions and stuff, but that's exactly what changed. You kind of take this blindfold off now. If you look at this Eight of Swords and you look at this Two of Swords reverse, this Eight of Swords has this blindfold on. Really she doesn't, but in the reflection, she has this blindfold on and it, it's keeping her stuck. This Two of Swords reverse is kind of like the blindfold falling off or you really being able to perceive yourself from your own, per, your true perspective. And it brings you into this queen of wands, which is really just an attractive energy, right? I think when you step into that power, you are calling in another or spirits like, I don't know, someone sees it within you. And so now we have death or the transformation card and that can just speak to a lot of change, right? A lot of beneficial change, a lot of positive change in this sense or in this case, because it's not like, I mean, it's not like you changed like as a person. It's looking like you just, you took that blindfold off. You, you started seeing things for as they truly were, as you truly are. And it's, it's really attractive to someone, really, really attractive to someone, because now in this present moment, we have the Page of Cups, the Seven of Wands reverse, and the Six of Wands. So right now, Gemini, you could be feeling really good or just there's a new connection that you're excited to explore, excited to be a part of. <laughs> Venus, she loves being a part of my readings and I don't ever really tell her to leave. So I just be moving the cards around a bunch. Um, this feels good. Someone's making you an offer of love or you're making somebody an offer of love. Uh, there's a lot of 
Hey, she likes sitting on them. I don't know why. Scoot over. No. Uh, there's a lot of... Um, it feels authentic. It feels real. It feels like your heart is open or their heart is open in this present moment. In the immediate future, we do have... I'm just going to put your future over here, okay? <laughs> we have temperance. We also have the Three of Wands and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so whoever this person is, Gemini, uh, there's, there's this comfortability that you feel with them or this alignment, I want to say. There's this sense of like, I don't have to fear being vulnerable. I don't have to fear opening up. I like there's an excitement to actually be more vulnerable. There's an excitement to have deeper intimacy or connect in that deeper way because the energy is reciprocated, you know, and you feel that is what it's look. It's what it's showing up as. It's like you're open because it feels reciprocated. And so I don't think that you're kind of like she just wants to sit on the cards. Hey, you want different cards? Here. Come here. I need those ones. You can have these ones. <laughs> you go on those ones. Go, here. She's like, no, I need temperance. <laughs> I need balance. There you go, baby. All right. <laughs> now we can put your reading here. <laughs> Bear with me, Gemini. She just woke up from a nap. She's just like, she's trying to be warm. <laughs> um, yeah, the energy's reciprocated. Uh, you don't feel like you have to figure out where they're at or like what's going on. Are we on the same page? It's just like you're going with the flow of things is what it feels like. You're open to love and you're letting your, you're letting your guard down or you're letting your truth be said or spoken and that's it's really attractive to someone you're vibrating on mm, i want to say like a powerful level or like a high frequency with the six of wands and temperance and the queen of wands and death like this is um mm, this is a good this looks like it feels good right it looks like there's not this need to control there, there's just really curiosity about what's to come it's like you know this is going to go somewhere or it has the potential to because the love is or the approach to love or the connection feels genuine. It feels real. This is probably the best reading I did all day. <laughs> this is nice. Um, let's clarify. Show me the two of swords in reverse. And the hangman in reverse. One more. the chariot in the reverse so yeah you stopped believing in a false narrative you stopped um telling yourself this story that created stagnation whatever story that was right you stopped believing in a yeah false narrative show me the queen of wands the magician you started taking control one more and the sun wow Wow, <laughs> you really started taking control of your own happiness. The moment that you decided, Gemini, to leave whatever baggage, whatever you were holding on to behind, the moment you decided to flip that switch is the moment you really took control of your happiness and started attracting love into your life, whether you were looking for it or not. When you were vibrating on the energy or within the energies of the Queen of Wands, the Sun and the Magician, whatever you want is yours. <laughs> like whatever you think about is yours. Your, manifest, your thoughts become your reality. You become the alchemist because you believe you're the alchemist, because you know you're the alchemist. Happiness is attracted to you because you're happy with yourself. You love yourself. Love is going to be attracted to you. What's this death card? Show me. Recent past. The Eight of Wands reverse and hi and the Three of Cups. So you definitely had to like 
it looks like you just lost interest in a certain connection or a certain relationship, maybe a family dynamic, marriage, somebody that you maybe knew for a long time or were invested in for a long time. I don't know. It just feels like there's what's changing is how you communicate with a certain group of people or a certain type of people. What's changing is you started finding happiness within yourself, so you're no longer settling for um, fabricated happiness that others provide you that's not real and genuine, right? That is what's changing. And I know it's changing because you start to become more comfortable opening your heart, letting your guard down, opening your heart up, and believing in love. And that is why your overall energy is excited about love, excited about, excited to fall in love. Um, with the Seven of Wands in reverse, we have the Justice in the reverse, and the Nine of Wands. I think it's a learning process, letting your guard down, being vulnerable, releasing the fears of whatever, however people treated you before, and being more open, right? Like, it's a learning process. It's, it's not something you can just fix or change overnight, but you're dedicated to Opening back up is what it looks like with this page of cups. We got the temperance and the seven of pentacles. Wow. And the king of cups on the bottom. So you could be meeting maybe a Scorpio, death as well. Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I guess I'll do this. Uh -huh, massage, Leo. Libra. Mm, maybe a Gemini. Virgo, Capricorn, whatever. Anyways, this person, I don't know, whatever you are doing to like rebalance your energy, this could just be as simple as trusting your intuition and seeing something come out of that, like taking a leap of faith and trusting your intuition. Like, cause someone's showing up here, making you some sort of offer or proposition or an opportunity arises, right? With this page of cups. For that to be followed with temperance and the seven of pentacles, it's almost like, all this work you were doing in the recent past, you might not have been thinking it was accumulating like energy or karma or whatever, like positive, you know, but you're starting to see this reflection, I think, right? With this queen of wands, magician, the sun, you're starting to see the reflection of the energy or the work you've been putting into yourself in regards to like being more connected to your heart, trying to be happier and like more positive that is being reflected to you. And you're starting to see that return. Like the work you once put in, once upon a time, <laughs> to make those changes is, is showing up, is what it looks like. And it's showing up in the form of something that feels really good. The Fool and the Six of Wands. This has so much potential. This connection, the Four of Pentacles in reverse again, and the Tower reverse. Unexpected blessings. This leap of faith I was just speaking about before the Fool uh, came out. I think this person really put you on a pedestal, but not in a way that's like unhealthy. I think they just genuinely, they love your energy, Gemini. This person really wants to connect with you on a deep level. And I think you being open is a, like kind of encouraging them to do the same. And that's why this is all, it feels very balanced or it feels like um, that reciprocity I was speaking of, the lovers over the four pinnacles in reverse. This is, this is turning into Six of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. This is turning into something that, like when I was speaking of potential, this, this might be around for a while. We have the Three of Wands and the Lovers. Um, yeah, so this excited to like create that intimacy or that connection as your overall energy, that, that excited kind of uh, mirroring energy. That is starting to manifest into something that's becoming more, I don't want to say permanent, but more real. Because it doesn't look like there's a lot of, it looks like you guys want some of the same things, right? Not everything, of course, but it looks like you guys want some of the same things. And there's not a lot of conflict at this time, right? All relationships have ups and downs. But right now, it just looks like there's a lot of smooth sailing or a lot of consistency, a lot of honest communication in regards to what it is you guys both want or expect. I think the plans for the future are 
it looks like the plan is just go with the flow and see what happens. Um, but you're scaring me at the end right here. But it feels good. Um, so yeah, you guys are in alignment. This could be a soulmate. This could be just love coming into your life, right? Things could start to really click for you in regards to love, you know, being connected. Sometimes loving yourself or giving yourself that time and space to love yourself, like that period or whatever, to like call back your energy, remember who the heck you are and give that to yourself. Sometimes that's what we gotta do. Like um, I watched this one tarot reader, he's great. He says, if you want something, you have to already, you have to be that thing or you have to already believe that you are that thing. So if you want love, go seek love, go fall in love. If you want, or in that, in this sense, it's like, if you want love, like love yourself, right? Loving yourself could be a very clear and simple pathway to manifesting this type of like genuine connection in your life, you know? And I just like that analogy or that like concept a lot because it is, it's true. Like if you want to be successful, like do things that a successful person would do. Um, and that is Minopod Tarot, he's great. Um, but with this last, these last, we got Temperance, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Why are you going back to the start? Why, why, what is happening here? I don't know, I don't know. It's almost like it's too good to be true. Is that, is that what I'm getting here? Is it too good to be true, Gemini? I don't think so. We have peace and playfulness, boundaries. So yeah, I feel like you could be setting a lot of boundaries with like just people, places, and things in general in your life. That is a form of power, right? Taking your power back. We also have new beginnings and open-mindedness and vision. So you might not see everything super clearly yet, but I think that you just taking that leap of faith and trusting in the beauty or the goodness of what this can be, that's going to, it's going to push it along to be something great. But with peace and playfulness, we have dolphin and coyote. The gentle nature of the dolphin reminds you to look for the good in everyone and strive to bring peace to your life and those around you. Trust your instincts and intuition rather than overthinking things. I'm telling you. Um, there is, this is, and with playfulness, this is a reminder not to take things too seriously and bring more balance between wisdom and playfulness. You might need to lighten up about a matter that has been on your mind for a while. Take it as resonated, Gemini, and I hope that this reading, um, felt good to you. <laughs> you guys got a nice little feature of Venus in the video. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel or book a private reading. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.